keep forgetting where the camera is. Yeah. All right, welcome to uh, D&D Extra. I'm Dwayne, and this is David. And I'm in a, a, a room with, with, well, flowing something behind me. I don't know what's going to be behind <laughs> me yet. I haven't put it there. Maybe I'll be at the beach or something. But David is in his front yard in the bed of your truck. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm in the bed of my truck looking at my wonderful neighborhood. You know, uh, why, this isn't Italy why didn't, or wherever they have that. Why didn't you build your house on solid ground instead of in a pond? Well, uh, blessingly enough, my house is dry. Oh, that's it's, amazing. Um, <laughs> yes, my house is up. Uh, the cul-de-sac is what's down. And uh, down there, there's three feet of water. Wow. And then coming up, coming up is not as bad. But right here in the drop of the cul-de-sac is yeah. where it's probably two feet of water. Wow. Did anybody so, um, in your neighborhood, did it go up into their house? Yeah, my neighbor right over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it went into the garage, but not real bad. Okay. However, um, we got a good friend at our church who lives in a cul-de-sac off the next road. He lives right next to the man-made pond that's in the middle of our neighborhood. And the pond is up to, up to the ground, flat with his court. Wow. So it looks like one giant pond. And his got flooded out Saturday night. Wow. In fact, he just came in a kayak and brought me a few groceries because I just because it wasn't coming. It was making a U turn. It was going the other way. Yeah. So so that's why you know. So oh, he brought wow. me a couple things. Well, what about this week on Survivor? My uh, driving prediction was totally shot to the um, ground by Andy Baker's amazing blog. Yeah, you picked Figgy. I saw that. I just watched that like about 30 minutes ago. I'm like, yeah, really? Well. Yeah. You need to read Andy before you do that. I know. Apparently, <laughs> I do. So I guess Figgy's not going home. But if the millennials lose, then who's going home? I think it's Adam. Oh, I, I think I Okay. This and I say my, that. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, well, I say that because um, I, think McK uh, I think Jay would save Zeke. We've gotten a little hint that Zeke and Jay have crossed paths and I think have a relationship. So yeah. I think Adam would be the odd person out. I don't think it'd be Hannah because Hannah did give her her vote, their, her vote that time. But And I don't think it'd be Michaela. If millennials lose, I think it would be Adam. But – and that I agree with your driving prediction. It would be perfect if millennials lose. Keep the oh, numbers right. balanced. Right. I think so too. Um, I agree with that. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think Gen X is going to lose. And um, I think – I think CeCe's going to go. I don't think David's going to use his eye. Oh, I, I stick that back. I haven't even thought about it, really, because I've been kind of busy the past couple of days. Oh, come on. Uh, no, you haven't. You've been watching HBO and, and, and Cinemax. Like yeah, you haven't been um, busy at all. You've been at home. More. See, they, they showed us that Lucy had like two lines in this week's episode, which means she could be the one going home. So I, I'll, I'll go with the obvious pick and say Lucy goes. Um, she is the one sacrificed this week. I don't, I don't know. That's hard to say from, yeah. from the millennial Gen Xs. So I think part of my problem with my driving predictions is I, mm -hmm. is I go with what I kind of would like to see happen. Like, I don't want to yeah. see Adam go home. Yeah. I don't want Adam or Zeke to go home. So, I agree. And I don't want Michelle uh, to go home. But so, and I'm going to go with you. Home. Yeah, I'm going to go with you and say it's going to be an evened out thing. So I'll say millennials lose. And unfortunately, I think they, they ax Adam. All right. I think Adam goes. I don't want him to go either. I'd rather than break up the Triforce at some point, but well, I just don't think they're going to do that yet. I'm going to tell Adam that you picked him to go home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just just playing the game, baby. Just playing the That's game. Right. That's right. Well, I, I like the fact that this uh, week's episode has two challenges. Again, a reward and an immunity. Oh, it is? I haven't yeah. seen that yet. Yeah. Again, you've been you know so busy because you're at home with nothing to do. Well, there's like eight channels of each network, and you got to go through all the movies that are coming on. You got to record all those movies. So I've been catching up on stuff I just hadn't seen. Okay, that's so free movie weekend. Yeah. And the wife wants to redecorate the house and remodel the house from the inside. So wait, but oh. move furniture. I mean, the kids are out, so the upstairs is now a game room, and it looks really nice. And yeah, all that kind of stuff. Hey, yeah. whatever she wants. Hey, we lost you. My um. Uh, my battery just told me that it's getting ready to die. Oh, you got the old 20% low power mode thing? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Do you have anything else to say about the upcoming episode? Uh, no, I should have plenty of time to get ready for it because I don't think I'll be going to work for a couple of days. No, I don't think you will. <laughs>
All right. Well, uh, do you have any suggestions for what I put behind me since I got a green wall behind me? I think you should put the ocean or the beach at least. Ocean or the beach. Because okay. because of my because of my lake. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. Thanks. For, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> thanks for watching my the D and D extra. Our short yeah. version this week. A little, a little earthquake there. Just want to give you. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. See ya.